Oh yeah, we're back. We're playing Zelda. This He's is a, your team. It was a crazy taxi. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, get my taxi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen to the Offspring. <laughs> <laughs> they had like that song for that. Yeah, game. they did. <laughs> Oh my god, but yeah, we're not yeah, playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not... Like oh no, my oh, torch no. went out. Maybe I it was a good thing. I bought the stick from that guy. Oh my god. <clears throat> I am You're going too fast. Is that what the problem is? No, I'm not going fast enough, actually. <laughs> That's why it's <laughs> going out. I need to light these torches. Hurry up. There you just passed one. I did. You're right. Oh my god. There we go. And oh look. my god. What you the? <gasps> no, where is it? Oh, there we go. There, there we go. Go, there go, we go. go. There's one in each of these little alcoves. But, there, uh, but you just passed it. It's hard to see because it. it's, it's so dark. Go, go. I wish there were torches there. here. There, yes, yes. Light it, light yes. it, light it. Oh my you... god, just spin I around in circles. <laughs> I, prefer, I prefer to light it by spinning around it like six times. That's how you do <laughs> oh it. It's a ritual. The ritual. Oh my god. All right. Jeez. I pressed oh, the button. Oh, booby trap. It's I a booby trap. pressed a button. It opened the door on the other side. Oh. Or back here. Yes, we are. Um, okay. Oh, watch the laser laser the, thing. That was like one kind of cool thing about this game is that... What's that? Oh, it's um, going down. Yeah, but oh it, my won't, God. it won't go in the lot. Oh. I'm safe. I'm so safe. Oh, so they go up and down like an elevator. Elevator. I think there was like a T-Pain song called Elevator. Where he's like, she's stuck on my ele elevator. Yeah, I don't know it. <laughs> it was not very good. <laughs> In case it doesn't sound like it is. Oh my God, drop it. Run. There we go. Uh, oh, I gotta move his microphone a little closer. If I was quiet there, it was because the microphone was away from my You're mouth. Being quiet. My mouth. No, I was gonna say the What's cool the thing about this game that I really liked is the uh, way the. <clears throat> I think they had to do it because you know they were limited. It was a lot of work to create these levels. Uh -huh. But a lot of the dungeons have like a centralized like hub pattern, where it's like we're back at the center area and it's like oh, oh we I see what you're saying. Side. Yeah, I've seen games like that. <clears throat> As opposed to just like because I feel like a lot of games of this era were what I like to call like endless caverns. So you're just like, run, you're like, oh, I'm in a cave and you're just running through like endless caves that all look the same. I feel like here they did a good job making it, everything look different. That's my opinion. If you don't like it, well, whatever, <laughs> I don't care. Well, I would assume like afterwards games started to do that, right? Yeah, Dev some, games, game devs. Uh, some games are still pretty bad of like, like I feel like Doom for as good of a game it is, it feels a lot like constantly just running in hallways that all look Whoa. the same. Or Wolfenstein was a lot of like just running a bunch of hallways that all look the same. Yeah, yeah, but that's this, so this, true. This and they all look the same, and well, this game has like very things. Like here's the staircase I dropped, so I can remember this room because it's unique. And it's like there was the room with a big skull in it back there. That was the central area. So it's like. It has like that kind of like feel that something like, that stands out. Yeah, like everything. There seems like there's a lot of care put into each level, you know, each area, and everything's kind of unique and it's like easy to m kind of remember where to go and what to do because of that. So really, what they did was they put like a, a feature to it because the walls all look the same. Yeah. So. So they used what they had. It was like they had Hello, to make spider. use of what they had. Spider. Oh, yeah, we were talking about the spiders we went to see. Yeah, so we went to the science museum. That was cool. Um, yeah, there was, like, a lady who her big thing was spiders. She was, like, um... Yeah, arachno... 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 Arachnologist. Something like that. Well, we saw a black widow, which... I've, like, heard about black widows. Because, you know, they always say, like, well, it's the deadliest spider they have around here in North America. And if you get bit by one... I thought you had to go to the hospital, but he was saying that, like, it's just going to be bad, but you don't have to actually go to the yeah, hospital. Yeah, it's going to hurt, but it's not. Yeah. He's like, you're going to feel it, a lot of pain. For a couple for of days. Or a couple of days. I was, I was like, like ouchies. Sounds like fun. Um, well, you talk about seeing them, but really, they were all dead in a jar, so. Yeah. Which yeah. I was glad because I probably yeah, would not like go in that room. preserved because they were studying <laughs> them or whatever. They put them under microscopes in the jar. Yeah, alcohol but, or whatever. I've never actually, I don't know if I've ever seen a live black widow either in the zoo or in a thing anywhere. Um, I think I've, I've seen, yeah, a live one. You um, have. 
In one of those butterfly places. Look at this statue guy. Watch what happens if I get close to him. He's like, no, get away. <laughs> oh my God. Get away from me. I didn't say you could touch me. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't touch. Oh, he oh. really does not like that. There we go. I killed oh. him. He goes crazy when Whoa, you kill him. Look oh at my him spin. God. Look at him spin. <laughs> these guys were actually... Well, actually, a lot of these enemies were from the first Zelda game. But these guys were in the first Zelda game. Ooh, we should play that one. Oh, okay. I've been playing... Oh, okay. I got addicted to Zelda 1, Legend of Zelda. You saw me playing yeah, it. Yeah, so I saw like, you played it. It's, it's one of those games where you definitely need a walkthrough because there's a lot of stuff like, how would I know to do that? Or how would I know that that's a thing you can get? Right, right, right. But once you get the hang of it, it's like a really fun game to like speed run and just like go through and you're like, I know where to do things and it has this very satisfying feeling. Whoa. No. Ah. Oh damn. That's why you don't what want the wooden bat? Yeah, that's why you don't want the wooden shield. You don't want no. Wow. Um so I got Did we figure out how many Zelda games there were? Uh you could probably Google that. I would well, say yeah. a lot. It's tough because like then do you count remakes and remasters? Or the one wouldn't. that you play as Zelda? Oh, oh yeah, then you gotta count the Philips CDI games. <laughs> Zelda, the Wand of Gamelon. Um, this part's kind of uh, shitty. <laughs> Let's see. This part's shitty? What, yeah, what is that? Yeah, because it's spiky things. You can't really see them. They what the hell come around are those corners. things? Listen, you never know what would be around the corner in these narrow paths. Definitely not a cowboy voice. You see talking. Oh, he's looking for. Oh this is a useful God. technique. Listen! <laughs> She's got a very uh, Listen! ratty voice. Listen! Listen! Listen to me! Was it like Fraulein from. Uh, oh my God. Frau? Do you want to just like do a let's play where we just redo like um, Austin Powers like word for word? We just read the <laughs> script while what? we're playing a video game. <laughs> As so different characters. Silly. Here, I'll start. What do you mean, Basil? <laughs> Austin, <laughs> that is shit. Oh, good. It's not just me. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. This tastes nutty. Bit nutty. <laughs> no, let go, let go. Oh no, oh my god. Oh my oh, god. Oh, I got hit by that everything. That completely there. backfired. <clears throat> oh my god. Wow, that oh. noise he makes when he gets hit is very like. Uh huh. Sounds very <laughs> pained. Oh, this is where I came uh, from. That makes sense. But yeah, where are you going? Where am I going? Where are you going? Where have you been? Oh, jeez. Ever... Oh, oh geez. he's fast. Do I have to move this thing somewhere? I feel like I have to move it, move it. Uh, maybe I have to pull it out. I always see that symbol like everywhere, right? The, moon? the symbol. No, that symbol on his shield. That, uh... Oh, the Triforce? The three. Yeah, that's like everywhere. People would have tattoos of it. Oh, yeah. Well, there's you nothing the more or iconic to Zelda than right? the Triforce. That's like everywhere. Yeah. Um, well, I could just jump up here. I didn't know I could do that. Um, so you gotta throw this with perfect timing. Oh my god. With expert timing. That was oh. not expert timing. Did you yeah. ever play Super Smash Brothers? Did we play Super Smash? No, we were playing yeah, the well, Nickelodeon one. We together. played some of it before. And Super Smash Brothers, one of the moves Link has is he pulls a bomb nope. out and throws it. <laughs> this is not working. I'm throwing it too soon, so you gotta like. Let me see when it starts blinking fast. I think you have like three seconds. Ah! Boom! Yeah, Bada boom. That's there like, you go. That's like in those movies. You ever see those movies where the guys like they have a bunch of like archers holding the bows and arrows, and they're like, "Wait for it! Wait, wait for, for it. it!" That was in it. Evil Dead. Oh my too. god, it was. Evil Dead had every trope. Imagine the trope. It's in fucking Army of Darkness. <laughs> it has every single trope of like an adventure movie. I love it. <laughs> it like, it's kind of sexist too. I don't remember it being so sexist, but uh, not really a lot of good strong female <laughs> characters in that no. movie. Uh, I guess they didn't have that till Ash vs. Evil Dead. Right, yeah, that's true. But awesome movie. Um, yeah. I love how they set up certain things where he's like, telling him like here's the words you need to say exactly and then he's like repeat them for me and he's like i got it and it's like once you did that we're like okay we know what's gonna happen <laughs> he's, go for he's gonna forget right? the words of course he Little is vato. i forgot what the words were <laughs> and he just like coughed he did the like, classic <laughs> 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 he's like, basically said the words so funny. these guys have their little jumpy patterns where you gotta follow them across these little ledges 
I don't know why he sounds like a bird. Whoa, he's like shaking. I know if these guys were in Zelda. Ah. I feel like these guys may have been in Zelda too. Oh. Cool. Like once you hit him, he jumps over you, so you gotta you gotta know his pats. He's his like pattern. stuck there, look at oh, him. Yeah, he's glitched. Whoa, glitched out. He's a glitch. He's a glitch. House. What do you think that means, calling someone a brick house? <laughs> built sturdy, built Pretty to last, sturdy like warm in the winters. <laughs> sturdy person, a reliable. Sturdy, you know, solid, won't get knocked over by a hurricane or a tornado. Oh, there he is, he got out. <laughs> oh. Good job, good the job, boyo. It's kind of cool, the fight scene with, the, yeah. with this iguana. Iguana. I like the anthropomorphic. He has like a little thing covering his privates. You see it? It's yeah. Like a little leaf. I was wondering what that was. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a little leaf covering his iguana penis. Um, what's over here? Uh, oh, we can actually go down there. This was the area. I think we were down there before. I don't think we want to go this way. Um, Do you know where, where to we were go? That's where we fighting the lizards before. See, it's a waterfall. See how I mean, everything is unique and tied together. It, like it all makes sense. It's like huh? an architectural point of view. If you know what I mean. If I know I do mean. No, don't play though. <laughs> this no. is the perfect time to play. <laughs> I like to soothe my nerves by playing. <laughs> Just a little ditty to remind me of. I have to meditate before I continue on. Of life in the old country. When they say life in the old country, what are they referring to? It's different from in the city. Hot child in the city. Ow, What's my the biggest eyeballs. city you've ever been in? The biggest city? I think mine is New York. Or is Paris bigger than New York? No, I think New York's bigger than Paris, right? I've been to New York once, and that was just for a day, really. Oh, yeah. Did you see the Statue of Liberty? No, the only thing I saw was the Natural History Museum. That's cool. You saw <clears> a lot of the natural, natural history. Oh, I think this is the bomb bag. This is what I need. It's similar to the one we got here, because there's yeah. all these dioramas and stuff like that that's cool in an area where they had gems to minerals oh, I got a planetarium so it's pretty similar i got a bomb bag that means i can i don't have, don't have to pick the flowers anymore i have my own bombs oh uh, isn't that a cool thing yeah planetarium i i like planetarium planetariums that they don't have anymore I mean, I guess they Old still have them. Old school with the machine, yeah. Yeah, I, they, they actually still have them. They can do it. They just choose not to because they're fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you go to like a like a classic, classic planetarium. So this was the room I was in before, but I couldn't get up to that area because I have to go all the way around. Um, so this, is this, area, this stuff here is kind of useless. It does um, while you're chucking it. Like, pfft, I don't need you're it. You're in my way. Get out. Get out. Get out. Uh, do I need to go here? But this yeah, is where I they, came from. they used to have this really cool from? machine where the lights would come out of it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like those plan those planetariums where what a planetarium is supposed to be, which is just supposed to be to project the stars on the ceiling. Yeah. And someone's supposed to talk about it and be like, <clears throat> this is Orion's belt. This is Ursa Major. This is whatever. And they would tell you what, what you're going to see with your telescope at, for the week. Yeah, I don't know if you they did that in your science museum, but here it was always like, yeah, they would tell you like this week you'll see, I don't know, one of the star constellation of whatever Orion or something, a little dipper. This little time is going to be on this side of, of the sky. Yeah, look to the north and that sort of thing. They would always tell you what the sky is going to look like for the week. Yeah, it's, but you know this what I'm cool. complaining about now is they don't do that. So I have the no, bomb they now. Don't. So you yeah. have to throw the bomb into. Oh his, my god! Oh jeez! You just blew your hand. You have off. to throw the bomb into his eyeballs, the skull's eyeballs. So oh. you gotta launch it like from here, and Whoa. it falls into its eye, and the eye glows red. Where did like it go? That? Inside the. Oh. See, isn't that a cool thing? I bet you didn't know that that's what you had to do. There was a poem there. You were talking, but there was a poem there that told me I had to do that. Um, you were talking, but sorry. I was listening. It was super interesting. It was about planetariums. There used to be a planetarium thing I had on the Wii. It was like, you know, do you remember? Uh, really? Yeah, on the Wii. They used to have what was called WiiWare, which was like cheap, uh, relatively cheap program games for the Wii. Some of them were like programs like whoa. this one. He uh, opened his mouth. Holy crap. You got to get inside this mooth. Oh, man. Um, but yeah, I had like a um, 
a stargazing planetarium one for the Wii, and you could you point the Wii remote, you could set your coordinates where you were on Earth. <laughs> cool. But that's on the moving platform goes higher now. You can quickly okay t tell me something I don't know. <laughs> Um, yeah, the planetarium, you set your location, you could see what stars you would see if there wasn't all these city lights here. Or, oh, okay. like, different areas, you could see what stars huh, would be visible neat. different times of day. That's neat. It was super neat. Well, um, now they have, like, an app. Remember, we were trying to use the app? Oh, we yeah. To... When we were in Wyoming, we were trying yeah. to see what stars we were looking at. That app used a ton of battery, though. Oh, it was like, really? It just, my phone was like, I can't handle Good thing this. we were using it when we were at I the Airbnb. Go down. How are you going to uh, go down? This thing is going to come up. See it oh, come? there it is. It's coming. I hit a switch. You weren't paying attention to what I was doing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so I guess it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> God damn it. So much for paying attention. <laughs> Pay attention. Uh, okay. We got to climb up here. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter. This is where I need it to be anyway. Look, I'm going to blow up this wall. I don't know what's there. Wah, wah, wah. All right. Hey, is this guy. You can hit him and he tells you the time. Oh. Bong bong, bong. <laughs> it's 1503. That was helpful. I guess you're going to the mouth in the next episode. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll do that in the next episode, guys. Look forward to it. We'll see you then. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.